of one. I'm Cool Zay's Makeup, and I'm going to do a blue and purple makeup tutorial before I get started. I did my brows, took the moisturizer, and my left eye off camera on a makeup rack that obvious it will be 99% drugstore affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And at TikTok, let's get started. I love blue and purple together because they're cool toned if you pick the right shade of purple there can be warm purples and cool toned purples like gray purple and lavender this is perfect for all your round it's sort of like a pastel that i'm going for today onto the makeup for a powder i took the hard kitty one you know joe and they wait for this try before getting doing my left eye the palette i'm using is Gwaylay Ice Cream Drink Palette. I pulled the mirror all the way back so I won't blind you. I'm taking Cookie Minster, Honey Lavender, Taro, and Cotton Candy. The brushes I'm using are two from Brush Taupe, a crease brush and a lower lash line brush to keep everything simple. This turned out very pastel that I thought it would be. For the crease, I'm taking Cookie Minster, which is sort of like a baby bluish. Well, my headband is darker than the shade, and it sort of matches my baby blue shirt that I have on. The brush I'm using is this Best Taupe Large Eye Brush to get in there for the crease. This is a pastel, so I have to go back in a little bit more for the sake of this video. And I'm going to ignore the outside background noise, such as the city bus that's going by my house and the heater that's next to my makeup table. If you're watching me for the first time, or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie, and I've been doing makeup videos for four years now. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. What's up, that pigment? I'm going to blend it. The car is there when I open my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. Pastels, like, you need a few layers for it to show up. I guess this looks good. I thought there was, like, a darker bright blue in the ice cream dream palette. That's what I was thinking of for the lower lash line. I'm taking Honey Lavender. The brush I'm using is the Best Taupe Medium Eye Brush to get in there. One of you guys told me that my lower lash line is where my lower lashes is. I was reading one of your comments and it said it. This is a lavender shade. It looks good. I might as well build it up. One more time for the sake of this video because it's a pastel. I thought like it has brighter shades, but boy was I wrong. It's pastel. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. My eye is watering a little bit. That looks good. I hope my eyes don't water throughout. For waterline, I'm taking Annabelle Cosmetics Stay Sharp Metallic Eyeliner in Ocean. I'm almost done with this. So I have to swatch it on the back of my hand to get it to show up. I think that looks good on the waterline. This is the only blue eyeliner I have. Well, I have to get another one. Mm, it looks good. I might have to go back in with Honey Lavender a little bit. I think that looks good so far. I don't know if you can tell. My right eye is my good eye. There's a little bit of watery eyes 
well with my right eye. Okay, it looks good. For the lid, I'm taking taro, which I thought it would be gray purple in the pan, but it's actually like a pinky purple when I'm applying it, and it's a shimmer. For the mattes, use a brush, and for the shimmers, use your fingers. I'm trying to get it in there. I'm gonna fill in the blank spaces. Okay. I think that looks good. For the inner corner, I'm taking cotton candy, which is a uh, baby blue. I'm going to apply some mascara to this side, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete to highlight the rest of my face. I'm taking hard candy rose gold highlighter. I'm taking the middle rose gold shade. I was originally going to use blueberry cheesecake, the shimmery lavender, to highlight my cheekbones. But I was like, nah, no one uses colorful highlighters anymore. I feel like that's so 2016. So I decided to go for a more wearable highlighter, rose gold, which is a mix of pink and gold. This will pair perfectly. There's a little bit of pinky purple with that taro shade. As I turn my head to the light, you can really see that sheen. This turned out wearable than I was thinking. It's more of like a pastel every day. I picked up like the closest like palette that has some blues and purples for lip prep. I took LA Colors Macaroon Lip Balm in grape, and this smells like grape candy. No, 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 it's in toilet paper, so I also know it's in hard drive. Chocolate, not cute. For purple lip gloss, I'm taking Galaxy Glow Lip Gloss in 04. No lip liner. I'm going to add two coats to get that purple to show up. Any purple lip gloss will do at home. And this store has like a mauve undertone. Here is the completed blue and purple make it so. I had a lot of fun doing it. This is sort of like a pastel version. I might do something bright and bold in the future. I'm the queen of colorful eyeshadow. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. This is very pastel, very wearable. Summer is coming to an end. Well, it looks good. So stay tuned for more reviews and I looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.